Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good day ladies and gentlemen Baik me introduce myself, my name is Rindu Santi I'm from 5B English Education And my student number is 2018 In this video, I would like to give the explanation about the material Introducing Applied Linguistic Concept and Skills by Susan Hanston and David Oki In this part, we have two sections For the first section, there are Describing English, the second is teaching and learning language, applied linguistic in a wider context. In section two, there are doing research in applied linguistics, skills of interpretation, skills of expression, and editing skills. Start with the first sections, there are key concepts in applied linguistics. For the first is describing English, chapter one, the reasons why by Deb Wills. We have done two necessary characteristics of the language learning process relating to the nature of language as a system. For first, some language systems are so complex that they cannot be taught or consciously learning. Some language systems are so extensive that it is impossible to offer anything like complete coverage of Next to the chapter 2, English vocabulary and collocution. This chapter has briefly discussed two approaches in to investigating the role of collocation in English vocabulary. The terms collocation, collocations, and collocational relation have all been used to illustrate the different aspects of the phenomenon and how it is relevant to the work of lexical grammars and language. Chapter 3 Grammatical Metaphor Success in Academic Reading. What I have aimed to show, however, is that the research of normalization is more fully used in particular words in high rated dissertation and that connection can be made between on the one hand the general characteristics that are valued by dissertation as source and on the other the abilities that seem to be re reflected in the deployment of normalization chapter 4 conversation analysis in the language classroom the aim of this chapter has been to demonstrate relevance and application of finding for, from conversation analysis to the teaching of the spoken language in general and conversational skills in a particular in the language classroom. It is important that it, that it is not simply a mechanistic application of structural phenomena identified. Second, teaching and learning a language. Chapter 5, what is communicative language teaching? This chapter has explored how three perspectives on communication seem to inform language teaching. This is by the means the only way to approach what TLD is or is not. However, it is a correspond to the question what is communicative language teaching that raises new and hopefully interesting questions. These new questions are ones that teachers may ask themselves when reflecting on whether and how CLT may be appropriate in their own. Chapter 6, 6 Proposition in Search of Methodology Applying Music to Task-Based Language Teaching For the first is language is a meaning system And the second, there is a distinction between learning and acquisition And the third, acquisition is prompted by the need and desire to engage in meaning The fourth, language serves a wide range of functions Five, language is variable And the last is teaching is for conformity to standards Language norm is neither possible nor desirable. Chapter 7 Research and Motivation from Integrativeness to the Ideal Auto Self. This chapter discusses a major theoretical shift that has been taking place within the field of auto motivation research. I describe how a new paradigm has emerged from both theoretical consideration and research results, and then presented the main component of the newly proposed auto motivational self. Chapter 8. Learning English in a Global Context Globalization has produced a complex situation regarding English and the learning of English. English is one of the facilitators of globalization and as the language breeds some welcoming and other attempts to counter its spirits. Third, applied linguistic in a wider context. Chapter 9. Investigating metaphor and ideology in hard news stories. First, I have shown how corporate evidence is useful in providing protectual, metaphorical, exegetation of textual data from the perspective of readers who have been routinely exposed to the text register. Second, I have shown how difficulties can arise in applying lack of and Johnson's position on, on metaphor to text in its Chapter 10. Who wrote this? The linguistic as detective. We have attempted to show that speakers and original authors leave evidence of what their ideology ideolect and their purpose in the transcript or written text uh, forensic language is to give a given x man. It is important to understand that such identification and explanation is all a linguistic 
is being asked. Chapter 11, The Translator's Choice. In this chapter, Mal Kerger makes it clear, it clear that a translator is always working to find a way of making the translated text the same as the original. A sentence might be semantic, finding at least a semblance of similarity to meaning between the two. It might be idiomatic, finding an expression that is a colloquial of a strain or as funny as the one used in the origin. Section 2. Study skills for applied linguistic students. 5. Doing research in applied linguistics. Chapter 13. Designing a Questioner. In this chapter, Bloomberg is offering advice and instruction rather than constructing an argument. This chapter is organized around a series of headings, each covering an area of possible difficulty for the researcher. Chapter 14. Using interview data and case studies. The general EAP teachers, on the other hand, complete a written college questionnaire that includes similar questions to the interviews and an in attitude questionnaire through email. Using interviews to gather data allow me to elicit responses about concrete essay teaching related incidents and experiences from teachers in a very detailed and meaningful way. Chapter 15. Transcribing Spoken Interaction in, in this chapter, Swan argues against a point of view that might be expressed like this. A transcri transcription is a natural rep presentation of an interaction anyone can be trained to do a transcription. The linguist comes along afterwards and does the analysis so the transcription and the analysis are completely separate and the second does not depend on the skills of interpretation. Chapter 17 Understanding noun phrases. This chapter focuses on noun phrases which are key ingredient of academic writing. The most important word in noun phrase is the head noun, the key to its meaning. It is sometimes difficult to work out which word in a noun phrase is the head noun because of the way the noun phrase has been Chapter 18, identifying and reporting other people's point of view. Here we are presented with an idea cultural stereotypes underpin U.S. notion of cultural assimilation. And we are told who this idea belongs to Kumara Fadivelu. We also know that Kumara Fadivelu presented this idea as something has to finally believe. This means that the idea cultural stereotypes is generally accepted and no longer has to be argued. Kumara Fadivelu talks about the idea but, but may not be the person who first Skills of Expression Chapter 19 Finding Your Voice This chapter gives several examples from this book of writers agreeing or disagreeing with others. It is important to keep an open mind at the beginning but it is also important at the end to form a view that we are ready to defend. The key to developing your own voice is to keep control of the voices of pre Chapter 20 Organizing an Essay in this chapter, we are explore one aspect of this phenomenon by investigating to what extent what theory of normalization is associated with academic success in dissertation written by students on MAAs in applied linguistics and TESOL, whose first language is not English, as our organization is not simply a matter of convention. Chapter 21, Referencing. This chapter is about how to put references into your essays both in the essay itself and in the bibliographic artist of references. Many aspects of referencing are simply conversion, some are driven by common sense. For, for example, it is important to organize a bibliography and alphabetical order so that your reader can find items in it quickly. Chapter 22, Editing Your Own Work This section contains activities focusing on common errors by student readers. This can be concerned with breaking the convention of academic writing, such as when using previous authors' work, or including sufficient information in long references. The other area where it is important to edit your own work is the clarity of expression. Okay, I think that's all enough for me. Thank you for listening so attentively. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.